Hello everyone, welcome, my name is MJ Pestridge, welcome to another P3D video. Uh, have you ever had issues with your simulator where it says, or your, even your PC, where it says um, denied or access denied or permissions are not valid or anything basically like that? Well, if you have had that, um, it's basically Windows 10 is being a bit of a ball like. Basically, it's not running the way it used to run in terms of allowing access to certain areas. Especially if you've just done a full system restart, you'll have the most up-to-date version of Windows 10. And it has changed the way permissions are set. Now, Windows or Microsoft will always say that if you go into the back end of your uh, home here, you should be able to set all the permissions you need. In the back end here well that's not correct for flight simmers um, we have to do it slightly differently um, if you want to do it correctly and this is most important if you are planning to network PCs like if you want to have a second PC where you have your weather or maybe you're a streamer and so you've got your OBS or anything uh, maybe more add-ons on another PC and then they're coming in from another PC um, having permissions set on your flight sim PC is so important for those the communication of those two PCs talking. So uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to set up permissions correctly. Now, even if you don't stream or if you don't have two PCs, this is worth doing because um, P3D and its associated softwares is a legacy software and it relies on older versions, if anything, of the way Windows works for it to function correctly. So um, we have to kind of almost re like it's like resetting our Windows 10 almost, you know, because the Windows 10 is always evolving. We've kind of got to keep it in the state that the software is expected to, you know, be in. And basically, older versions, I mean, I know P3D update their softwares, but, um, and that's why you have continual updates for other add-ons as well, is to keep things moving fluidly. But, you know, developers, they don't do it all correctly sometimes. So we have to do it. So the best way to do it is so if everybody has access, then nothing can go wrong, okay? And when I say everyone, I'm not talking about the internet. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about everyone on your local machine. Okay, because believe it or not, you actually have got three different accounts on here. Okay, Windows is a little bit crafty, you know, and you can see this as evidenced if you go in your user uh, users section here. So you've got, this is me, this is my account, and I'm the administrator on my account. And if you want to make sure you are the administrator on your account, go to user accounts, go to user accounts, and there you go. I am password protected, the administrator of my own PC. Make sure you are the administrator of your own PC. Otherwise, you're going to find it very hard to do flight simulation on, on your PC. But this is my account here. This all users is a secret hidden file account for the PC. Okay. And it contains everything, right? Um, you don't know about this unless you open it up. If you go into options, you go to view and you go show hidden files and you go uh, untick the hide protected operating system files. Okay, you untick that. Now you'll see these other hidden folders and you go, ah, hello. So I can see everything my PC is up to. Uh, then you've got these public ones down here. So these these public ones are uh, like the PC's version of it. Okay, so you've got, I mean, it's 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 really so it's got public videos. Okay, um, and then you've got uh, all users, um, and then you've got yours. So it is it does get confusing, guys. Anyway, to set the permissions so everybody has access and everybody on your machine has access, as you can see, I have multiple hard drives. Okay, so uh, if we have a look at this one, for instance, which I know. I haven't set permissions for properly. 
um, you'll still probably see these as well. You'll see system authenticated users, and then you've got the administrator on my desktop, which is me, the user on the desktop, which is also me. And then you've got like, you might even have this thing here, which is like, what? And basically that all that is, is an old PC that this hard drive is attached to an old PC. And that's what that is. It doesn't recognize it on this PC, but it, you know, that's the owner, basically the full owner of that hard drive, you know, um, but I've given everyone access to it. So it, there is no issues. And this is exactly what we're going to teach in this video. So uh, going on to your C drive. Now, this you really only need to do this for the hard drives. OK, that your flight sim is going to access. If you don't, if you have like me multiple hard drives, but your flight sim doesn't access them, you don't really need to worry about it, okay? But if your flight sim does need to access it, um, then it is best to do it across all of these uh, hard drives. So the way you do it is right click on the drive, go down to properties. And first off, you wanna make sure you're sharing the drive, okay? So go to sharing and obviously this will probably be grayed out and it'll probably say not shared or it might even be not grayed out and still say not shared. Either way, go to advanced sharing and tick this box here, share this folder. Um, if, you, if you're able to tick this box here, then when you open advanced sharing, that should be ticked. But either way, tick that box. Okay. Now I have everyone set as the permissions in here, and this is kind of like an greasy, easy way to do it. You might not have everyone set up yet. We need to set everyone up. So once you apply that and click okay, come out and also come out of that to allow the changes to take effect. Um, and which, and all you're doing is you're sharing your drive and then come back to security um, and you will have here probably most likely what you see here on this drive you'll probably see it like this except you won't see everyone if you do see everyone and their tick boxes are down here good job you've already done it so you don't really need to continue following this video but maybe it's just a, a good piece of advice because this is working off the latest update of windows so um, probably best to keep watching to be honest um, right, so first off, we need to we need to introduce everyone into um, this uh, this PC. So we click on advanced, we go to effective access, and up here it'll most likely say system or user or installer or something like that. Um, basically, you want to change that. You want to type the word everyone in here and click check names. And if it underlines and it looks exactly like this. It's worked. You can click OK, which I won't because I've already done it. And you will then see under here, you'll see this change to everyone. And all you're doing is you're giving, setting up the permissions for everyone to allow to use your drive. Again, we're not talking about everyone in the internet. We're talking about everyone on your local machine. Okay. So same thing. Do the exact same thing with user group. You want to open that up. You want to type in everyone. You want to go to check names, click OK, and now everyone will appear here. And if you click this view effective access, you'll most likely see red X's going all down here because we haven't actually give everyone any permission of any kind yet. We've just sort of made them the owner for the moment to be able to access the permissions of ownership. OK, you've, it's like you've got to pre give the permission before you give the permission. OK, go to auditing and add everyone do exactly the same thing here you type everyone in there okay. you should see uh, everyone with full permissions like this okay uh, you want to make sure that this applies to the folder subfolders and files and that all is ticked here so both success and fail basically are uh, showed um, and click OK you're just allowing everyone to be able to give everyone the permission for everyone, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay. Next thing, come do the exact same thing here. Okay. Um, you want to set everyone. You want to have full control, change, and read. You won't have access to special permissions. That's fine. Close that out. Once you now get to this point, oh, by the way, if you haven't got the share option, it's because you skipped a step. You have to first off 
uh, if I cancel out of that, you have to first off have a shared drive in order for that share tab to appear here. If you have no share tab, it's because you haven't shared your drive properly. Okay, go back to the beginning of the video, start again. Once you get here, you're going to see loads of others. Okay, you can actually leave them. It's absolutely fine. I haven't. I haven't taken care of it, but um, you can just leave them there. That is fine. Um, what you're going to need to do is click add. And again, select the principle for everyone and make sure everyone, like here, has full control modify. Basically, all the boxes ticked. I only apply these permissions to objects and containers within this container. You want to allow, okay, not deny, but allow. And then this folder and then subfolders and files. So it filters down through the chain of folders, okay, within your... Uh, within your C drive or within the drive that you're applying this to. And then as soon as you click apply, it's going to come up and prompt you with, hey, you know, you're changing the security of this drive, dude. Are you sure you want to do it? And of course, of course I'd want to do this, right? And then you might even get an error come up on certain files. There's going to be about five of them. If you have any more than 10, you haven't done it correctly. Go back and start again, okay? Basically, when you give control to everyone, it won't still allow you full control over the, I think it's the, the recycle bin, the paging system file, um, and a couple of others, like very important internal folders that you just won't have access to. And that's fine. You just okay past those errors and let it do its thing. And then when it's finished, you click okay and that is it. Now, you should come back to here and see the word everyone. If you don't, just click edit and either everyone will appear or you can just go and add it in the same way. But make sure all these boxes are ticked. Then click apply um, and then click when you see everyone here with all the boxes ticked. Click OK and the job is done. OK. Right. So just so uh, everybody is just so you can see it in action. Right. So. Here's a drive where if I go into security, you go to sharing, it's not being shared. So we click on that and we share this folder. Yes. And if we go into permissions, everyone is here. So I could click allow and apply and OK. And this is exactly what should happen, right? Now, if I go to secure, oh, first I have to close that out. Now, really, this I shouldn't be doing this on the recovery drive, but um, it's not the recovery drive for this PC so it's fine if I go to security obviously everyone's not here so if I go to advanced uh, everyone's not here again so this is exactly what you'll see so if I basically change that first to everyone okay um, that's changed everyone to everyone so uh, go there select a user everyone Okay, and view effective access. There we go. There's my red X's. I know I'm doing it correctly. Auditing, go to add, set a principle for everyone. Click OK. Make sure everyone's got the correct ones. Yes. Only apply to these and within this container. Click OK. Share. There's everyone added. Beautiful. Uh, that's fine and then go to permissions and we should be able to now add everyone without an issue at full control level yada yada tick that allow beautiful okay now click apply oh yep so we've got some errors obviously because it's you know this is a system drive there we go i have now just taken ownership of this drive i own this drive so i can now click ok so basically if i go into edit now uh, there is everyone there is all the ticks click ok everyone is there everyone has access party time excellent there we go. That's basically how you do it, okay? If you do that for your main C drive, okay, like as you can see with me, um, I have got everyone. So everyone has access to my C drive. 
that's not a problem. Um, and therefore, I never have permissions problems in my flight sim or on my computer at all. Um, and if you have issues with permissions, that is exactly how you solve it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me out. Hit a like on this. You know, I've actually gone through uh, my analytics and I've discovered that like 80% of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. So I would really appreciate it if I had that 80% down to like 20%. That would be awesome. And it really helps me out. And it really spurs me to help you guys out more knowing that that you're helping me out by subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything at all, but it helps me out immensely, okay? If I can turn that 80 down to 20, dudes, I'll be happy. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.